I was born in Dallas, got to experience the Midwest, the Northeast, quite a few years in Houston. Billy Hassel lives in the urban world. Didn't move back to the area until about 15 years ago, and I've made Fort Worth home ever since. But Billy has always been drawn to the natural world. Abby. It's hard when you live in a city to find places that are natural. It's dog heaven for them, and us too. Reconnecting with nature in a small way, in a very urban environment, it calms the soul somehow if you can slow down. We live fast-paced lives, and we're kind of conditioned, I think, to think we have to live in rush all the time. But follow Billy to work, and his interest in nature becomes most apparent. Here we are in my studio. I'm a full-time artist. My work has always been inspired by nature. I grew up at a time when there were still some open spaces and creeks, and I got to experience a little bit of nature, even though I grew up in a pretty urban environment. I guess my love of nature was born from those experiences, and I've been kind of searching for that throughout the rest of my life. I've been seeking out opportunities to be out in nature and find places to inspire my work. You see these oak groves from a distance, and they are their sort of own little world. In early fall, a new project finds Billy seeking natural inspiration along the coast. This is a cool spot. This might be a spot to come back to and set up a chair in watercolor. Texas Parks and Wildlife Foundation has commissioned Billy to create a series of prints celebrating wildlife habitat conservation statewide. We decided on five land projects around the state of Texas, Powderhorn being kind of the jewel in the crown. Billy's first lithograph will feature Powderhorn Ranch, 17,000 acres of newly conserved coastal prairie and marsh on Matagorda Bay. It's very heartening to me to see large areas of land like this preserved for the future. You had to put it all into one picture. It, you couldn't fit it all. That's the challenge. Mm. Prickly pear and a rattlesnake. The more you look, the more you see. <laughs> it is cool to watch them move. I find a lot of inspiration as an artist in a place like this. And as I learn more and more about it, I'm fascinated by the complexities of it and how practically every plant and every little creature plays a role in the overall balance of a place. If I sit down to do a watercolor, I have to sit the chair down, find a spot, commit myself to at least an hour, an hour and a half of time. In a pencil sketch, I can frequently get a, at least a contour of the shadows. The cactus, I got a little more detailed on the shapes, and, and the, the line drawings kind of helped me put it into a bigger context. The length of time it takes to do a watercolor, by the time you're three quarters of the way finished, the light has changed completely. That's the advantage of having a photograph to refer to just for the light and the color. For years, I didn't even own a camera. If I take a picture, I let the camera be the memory, and if I draw it, I think I have to remember it in my head. There's something about the process of visualizing something and processing what you're seeing that burns a more indelible memory. Just being in a place, just walking through a place and hearing the wind blow and seeing things it seeps in. I try to generate an image that somehow captures the feeling of the place. It's 
see, I want a nice warm green. Yeah, pick a color, any color. <laughs> One month That's after easy. his field visit, Billy has an image for his print. So I'm here at Peter Webb's shop in Austin where we're turning my drawings into a color lithograph. With his printer, Billy builds the image one color at a time. Everything is by hand. He has to basically take his image, deconstruct it, and then reconstruct it. The artist has to draw each and every plate. He's actually drawing the whole print right here. The drawing is transferred by light onto the plate. Traditionally, lithographs were printed from limestone. Aluminum plates have replaced the limestone, but essentially it's the same process that it's been for 300 years. I hate to call it a dying art form, but I feel like by doing the lithographs, I'm somehow keeping an old process alive. So we could take it out later if... Uh... Oh, did I say that? Each color is hand <laughs> inked, hand printed, and usually there are about 12 to 15 colors. So that's 15 passes through a press to get one image. All my drawings are done in black and white, so there's this sort of magic thing that happens when we assign colors to each plate and then we combine the colors and we achieve this end result. Each color is printed one on top of another and then when all the colors are printed, you have a finished print. It's a one shot deal. I think it's somehow appropriate to be celebrating these places as a limited edition work of art. Ta-da! <laughs> we did it. There'll be editions of 30, and once they're gone, they're gone. And in a way, it is like the land that's inspiring the prints. Back at his studio in Fort Worth, Billy completes other work to be shown with his lithograph. So I'm working on a group of paintings for a show that's going to open in Fort Worth in a couple of weeks. So I've got a few oil paintings that are in progress. Billy's time at Powderhorn has inspired much more than one print. It's kind of evolved into a, almost a whole show of work based on that. I make my gallery owners a little nervous sometimes because I'm down to the wire usually, but I always deliver. <laughs> We're at the William Campbell Contemporary Art Gallery here in Fort Worth. Wonderful show. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Tonight is the opening of a show of new paintings and the unveiling of the Powderhorn Ranch lithograph. This has generated quite a stir. Pulled in the crowd tonight. This is kind of the culmination of uh, weeks of work and sweat and anxiety over getting it all done in time. And my only anxiety now is uh, that there's not any wet paint that anybody's going to bump into inside there. I like the one in the back. It's powerful. Yeah. Paintings have sold, and prints have sold, and I think there's going to be a lot of interest in the Powderhorn Ranch lithograph. And I do think people make the association or think about the coastal prairie of Texas and also the fragility of nature. While preserving nature in paint and ink has a beauty all its own, proceeds from Billy's print will also help Texas Parks and Wildlife Foundation keep places like Powderhorn Ranch wild forever. When this was proposed to me, I was thrilled. With more lithographs in the series, it'll be about a three-year project. Billy Hassel has more natural inspiration to look forward to. I hope that the prints reach people and make people aware of Powderhorn, but also just aware of the world and how precious it is.